I've been um, thinking about something slash uh, going through something as well. Um, also learned some things in this process. Kind of mainly involves um, people, you know, people and how I deal with them and just how I am, I guess I could say deliberate with how I like, um, distribute my energy and, um, and who I allow into my space, I guess you could say. Um, so like, like a lot of people, um, and like a lot of people, for me, COVID that whole time really sucked, you know, um, I feel like that's essentially the period where I was forced to really grow up, you know, um, I had to deal with the rawness of people, you know, without like a shield, which was essentially my, um, guardian, you know, people passing away and things like that. And during that time, you know, I had to decide how I felt about certain people and decide how I wanted to, um, proceed with certain relationships. Um, and I guess to summarize that, I kind of just learned that not everybody has your best interests in mind. Not everybody has your best interests in mind, even if they're your flesh and blood, to be, to be quite honest. It's kind of sad to say, but it is what it is. And I think that um, just because someone is your flesh and blood, just because someone is nice to you, doesn't obligate you to have to share a piece of yourself with them, you know? And I keep getting reminded this. I, I just, I've just noticed, you know, over the course of my life, like let's say before 2020, you know, <laughs> when the, the big sickness hit and whatever. Ugh. It's four o'clock in the morning when the big sickness hit. Over the course of my life, I I kind of just been a little bit passive, you know, just a, a little bit. Um, My dad wasn't necessarily to it was definitely not that way. And I would say because of him, I didn't have to deal with certain things. And I didn't realize exactly how much I was being shielded from. And um, when he actually passed in um, 2020, um, I... But I learned a lot about people, people that I thought I was close to, um, and, and the like, and essentially, you know, I grew in certain ways for the better, this and that, um, but obviously I wouldn't, I, I wish I didn't have to grow at the expense of losing somebody, but, you know, it is what it is, um, and I kind of just, just out of all of this, these things, I'm like, 
man, I don't know how long I've been being, being like taken advantage of being just a, canvas for other people for other people's emotions and other people's energy and and things like that and you know i kind of had to like just really like enforce like myself into situations like I, I guess you could say but um i kind of just learned how often people would like i said use me as a canvas for how they felt and i just started to feel like man what about me who's going to who's gonna make sure that my wants and needs are met and the answer was nobody besides me literally nobody besides me was going to make sure that nobody besides me was going to make sure that um you know i was heard like people will literally trample over you people will you know use you essentially with a smile on their face and I kind of went through this um, situation recently that kind of like really cemented this for me. Um, there was this guy that I used to uh, work with. And. Um, at this place of work, there was the usual workplace drama and things like that. And him and I would kind of be on the same side, I guess you could say, and whatever. We talk about certain things and, you know, eventually I left this workplace um, and we still kept in contact a little bit. Um, we would play Xbox together and things like that. And we would play uh, UFC. I was pretty new to this game and um, I guess he had been playing it before. And um, we would have like continuous matches against each other, just, you know, playing. I think between us, we might have had maybe um, close to a little somewhere between like 100 and like 150 matches against each other, you know, in, in the over the course is getting getting better and, you know, fighting and stuff like that. And, um, one of the things I kind of noticed was that, like, unlike um, other people that I would, um, play Xbox with, he didn't talk all that much. Like, we didn't have too many, like, conversations, just, I don't know, friendly conversations that I'm used to. A lot of the conversations was just, oh, you won't believe what this guy, um, at work was doing oh this guy and that and that guy and like talking about other people and all the time that we would play it would just seem like he was always doing something else and not really interested in like talking and i wasn't used to that you know because when i play with um people like my family we're always talking about something we're always talking to each other just you know having a good time and whatever and you know making jokes and the thing that you do with people when you're hanging out in person, the video game is just like a medium to fellowship, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so that kind of stuck out to me. Um, yeah, and one thing I kind of that was kind of a little bit annoying to me was that like he would feel comfortable just calling me whenever he felt like it, whenever he had the time, just calling me and talking about hey, get on the game, this and that or whatever, and like 
either like text him a few times and be like, Hey man, just text me and let me know if you want something or just like, don't call me out of the blue. I'm, I'm just not really that type of person. Like, I don't really like that, you know? Um, which kind of leads back into the whole being selective with my energy thing that I kind of learned. Um, I kind of just don't like when people just feel entitled to having access to me. I, I don't like it. And I've kind of just noticed like, I don't, I can't tell if I'm like either a very likable person or people just think that I'm like an easy canvas to, you know, um, display their energy and, and their feelings onto people seem to like to open up to me for some reason. And I don't really know why, but I'm kind of fighting back against that because I'm like, man, what about me? And who else is really, who else is going to look out for me besides me? So I'm like, I don't like, I just, I just, if you're not that guy, if you're not that girl to me, I don't, I don't want you just calling me. I don't want you just interjecting in my life and making it seem, making me feel like you think that, um, it's good. It's good to just come up and just interrupt whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I don't like that. That's just not me. Text me if you want to call me and just text me. Most times I kind of, I'm kind of like, I don't really want to just be on the, to me, being on the phone feels like an objective. It feels like, okay, so what is the, the task, the thing that you want of this phone call? Let's meet that objective or task and then let's get off the phone. Unless you're my girl, I don't want to just be on the phone just talking like about essentially what will come out, come about to be nothing. Um, that's just not me unless I have a, a close relationship with you. I can't really just do that. Um, so yeah, that's what this guy would do. Um, and I just tell him multiple times, like, hey man, just text me if you need something or whatever, I'll get back to you. Sometimes I would answer the phone. Most times I wouldn't. Um, but yeah. And just a lot of the things that he was doing just made it feel like he was like kind of just using my energy, using me for my energy, kind of making it feel like like I don't know, I just don't like that, like when some people just try to manipulate me and manipulate my time, you know, I'm like, I'm really fighting back against that because I've started to notice like how often like I just let people do that, and um. I'm kind of done with that, to be honest. Um, but like in a lot of areas, we didn't have a relationship of like kinship in a way. Anytime we talk about something, well, he always wanted to talk about gossip or something, something negative that happened at work. Or you can you believe this guy did that? I don't like this guy and that. I'm like, man. After a while, I mean, the first couple conversations, like you feed into it a bit, you got a couple things to say, but it's like, I don't want to talk about that BS all the time. I don't, I don't want to have to be dealing with that. It's like, after a while, it's like, man, what are, what are we building up to? Or what are your ambitions and goals and stuff like that? You ever, did you? Did you see anything on TV recently? Do you watch TV or whatever? Like, just we're just talking about drama all the time, and it gets to be like tiresome, you know. So back to like our video game thing, we was playing um, video games and stuff like that, and this is kind of where it got to the point where I realized, like, man, I'm not really too sure how I feel about you, to be honest. 
you know, um, we had like some back and forth matches where he would win sometimes, I would win sometimes. And um, like when I would do something that would like work well against him, he'd be like, you know, I don't like, oh, uh, I, I wouldn't do that. That's kind of a cheap move, but I, you know, it's whatever. You can play how you want to play, you know. Um, and I'm like, man, it's a move in the game. I don't really understand what the problem is, you know. It's not like I'm, uh, cause like I've played other fighting games before. Matter of fact, I've been playing Dragon Ball Fighter since it came out. Um, you know, I'm no stranger to to taking a loss. I'm no stranger to winning. Um, I'm no stranger to like having to learn and get better at things. I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem when people seem to like lack sportsmanship, you know, that type of stuff will get on my nerves. Um, yeah, so this is the thing that he did that kind of like irritated me. This one specific match, he was he was winning and I'm like and. For some reason, like. He was just taunting me and like backing up and like not finishing the fight. And he was doing this and was going on for a while. And I was like kind of getting irritated. And in this game, UFC, your character can get to a point to where like they're they deteriorate and like their movement gets slower. You know, their stamina is lower. They get knocked out easier and everything like that. And my dude was to the point to where I could could barely even walk and stuff like that. I was walking super slow and low stamina and all that. And his dude was fine. You know, he was winning this match. Um, But even though I was in this state, he wouldn't finish the match. You know, um, and like after going through this for a while, I'm like, what? like he's like he's literally taunting me at this point. And just backing up, backpedaling and not finishing the fight. I've already lost at this point, you know, so I'm kind of like, man, what are you doing? Are you going to fight? Like what, what, what's going on here? You know? And I'm like asking him this and he's like, oh, you know, well, it's just how, how you play the game or something like that. This, this was a while ago, so I'm paraphrasing. Um, this is how you play the game. And like at this moment, I was like, I, I, this is, that's one of the things I kind of, I don't really respect. I really hate when somebody like unprovoked taunting and stuff like that, unprovoked, like, I don't know, man, silliness. Like, bro, just if you're winning, just win the match. We've been back and forth a few dozen times let's just get this match over with and let's do the next one but you know i i think everything else about our friendship had been building up to me and you know i just like confronted him about this i'm like what are you doing it's like are you gonna finish the match and he's like oh, i'm just trying to see what you're gonna do i'm like bro you already won this match i can't even move like, let's finish this up and let's get on to the next one. Cause I'm not no quitter. I'm like, man, like if you're going to win, just win. And I'm going to learn from this and bring it back the next time. You know, it's like, I'm, I'll, I'll learn from a loss. Really ain't nothing to me. Um, but I hate bad sportsmanship. That makes me not want to mess with you. That makes me not want to involve myself with you. Um, and while I'm explaining this to him and I'm just like, if you're gonna, if you're winning already, you don't need to be doing the taunting and you're backing up and I can't, e I'm literally moving so slow that I can't even catch up to him while he's backing up. And I'm like, what's the point? And he, he's like, oh, it's just how you play the game. And I'm like, man, no, it's not. And he's, he's says something like um 
okay, well, I'll play it how you want me to play it. You know, we're going back and forth. And I'm like, man, you're not really getting the point. It's not, I'm not asking you to play a certain way. I'm asking you to be a bit more sportsmanlike. Just, I don't know, like have some humility. Like I, I can't stand when people do that type stuff. And if like, I know you personally and you're doing that to me, I'm going to confront you about it. I'm going to be like, what are you doing? You know? Uh, yeah. And I, I really disagree with how he was doing that. And I feel like his responses were, he was just like trying to tell me how I'm supposed to feel about it. And just like, and like trying to t- like talking to me, like I'm some kid or something like that. And like, bro, first of all, you're like some seven, eight years younger than me. And, you know, I don't really take kindly to that. I'm like, I don't know why you trying to talk to me like you're doing me a favor or something like that. I'm telling you, I don't really mess with people who play like that. So if you're going to win, just win. Let's get it on with. Let's go on to the next match. And then he's all like, oh, well, I'll play. Look, if you don't like that, then I'll I'll just sit there and I'll just play how you want me to play. And I'm like, I didn't say that I want you to play a certain way. I'm just like, stop with the taunting and finish the match. And and eventually came to me saying, like, look, I I guess we just see this a different way. And he was like, yeah, well, I guess guess we do. And I just left the party. I'm like, I don't feel like talking to you, man. Like, all this, it's like all the little things were building up. And then that, you know, Put it to a point to where it's like. You're not really my friend if you can't respect like what I'm trying to tell you and how I'm actually feeling about something, you know, like. That on top of the fact that our conversation is always just like gossip or something like that, and if it's not gossip, we're not even talking It's like a lot of the matches, I would be just talking and having fun talking to myself and he would just like just be sitting there like like why are we playing right now like are you trying to like is the objective for you to feel like you're beating me or whatever i thought we were just having fun but it's like this isn't fun you know you're just like you're not interacting with me like i'm talking feeling like i'm talking to myself so it's like, and then on top of that, it's like, bro, you call me out of nowhere whenever you're free and then expect me to jump on the game just because you said so or whatever. And I'm like, when I tell you, don't do that, you, you, you wait a bit, you wait a couple of weeks and you do it again anyways. And I'm like, man, what is this? Like, do you think I'm some type of punk or something like that? And I'm like, man, I don't like people like that. I asked somebody else who was kind of doing that, just calling me out of the blue, just talking to, like, bro, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just like one of those type of people where it just seems like I want to hear everything you got to say. And I'm just going to stay on the phone and listen to you talk. But as somebody else, um, I'm not going to say too much about him, but like he would just call me and talk about him the whole time. And I, I didn't get to tell, I didn't get to, he would never ask me how I'm doing. He would just call me and talk about, oh man, I got this going on. I got that going on. I got this going on. I'm doing this. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, cool. And I'm like sitting there trying to not be rude, I guess. But then like I like recently got to a point. I don't want to give away too much about this, but I'm like, man, I've been dealing with this person for a long time just based on his relationship to. I guess me and I'll say my family, you know. 
Um, but I'm like, man, this is where I'm getting to the point of realizing like what exactly like a real friend is. Um, you know, Cause I was getting to a point where like this person and the guy that I used to work with would just like feeling like they were using me for my energy, like using me for like my kindness. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to put a stop to this because like, I don't know what I look like, but on the inside, I'd be like really tired of people. I, I get irritated of dealing with people who just ramble on and talk about themselves and do things for their own self-service but they try to involve me in it like why do you why are you trying to drag me along with you in your schemes like what is it about me that makes you think that i just want to be around you like bro you called me you asked me to come along so yeah man so all i have to say i'm like I'm being a lot more selective with my energy and who I let into my life and who I allow access to me, you know, because I've noticed like one too many people who will will abuse that privilege, you know, of the access of being in my life. And um, I had a couple people that I had to cut off, even in my family who would just like, I don't even know, man. But I I think it's just important um, to just be like honest with yourself and how you really feel on the inside. Because I think over these last four years, ever since COVID started, you know, I've had to really like be honest with myself and take care of myself. You know, because like, really, there is very few people in the world who are going to like think about you and how you're doing outside of themselves. You know, it's like and I don't really um, hold it against somebody for thinking about themselves, but sometimes it's just like. When are you going to stand up for yourself? I had to ask myself that one day. I really had to ask myself, like, when are you going to stop? When are you, when are you going to stop just letting people, like, enforce their will on you? You know, sometimes I forget and I let people go a little too far, but, <clears throat> you know, I'm getting a bit better. I'm trying to do better for myself because. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it's just me. Sometimes it's, it's just me out here, you know. It's like if I don't take care of me. Nobody will. And I'll just be there. I'll just be there alone for the ride. And I feel like a majority of my life, I've just been alone for the ride for too long. And I got to stop doing that. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully this hasn't been too rambly and it wasn't too difficult to follow where I was, you know, going with some of this, but just something that's been on my mind. <clears throat> I'm just like, I gotta deal with more people who like serve me. Well, not, not serve me, but like, can meet me halfway, you know? Like, I feel like that's what a real friendship is, a real relationship. It's like if someone and you have someone in your life, like where's 
they're not meeting you halfway based on your needs, based on their needs. It's like that's what a relationship where a friendship is it's like. You got to you got to meet people halfway because all this going on with the flow and just doing what somebody else is doing. I feel like you can really lose yourself in in that regard. And I'm not I'm just not down for that. I'm not down for that any longer. I feel like I spent the first 24, almost 25 years of my life being like that. And, you know, just being comfortable with like my dad just taking the charge on certain things. And he meant well, he meant very well. But I can't just be passive on things like that no more. Because people will take advantage of you. 